What's up, YouTube? My name is Jared Decker. I am standing in front of a 2019 i5 3.7 gigahertz iMac. Uh, I bought one of the i9 Vega 48s right when these things came out. Did a review video on that. I'll post the link in the comments below. Unfortunately, I recently realized that the entire ending of the video did not make it to YouTube. Apologies for that. I'll try to avoid that happening again. Um, I got that computer. I got a little bit freaked out about how much money I spent on it and realized I didn't really need the terabyte SSD, so I sent it back. After I sent it back, I plugged my 2014 5K iMac back in and went back to work on that. And honestly, I was a little surprised at the difference in performance. I, I guess I didn't feel like I needed a new computer as bad as I thought I did. Um, so I stuck to the 2014 for a couple weeks and was click, quickly reminded why that computer drove me crazy. Um, it only had the two gigabytes of uh, VRAM and not, not that that was the cause, but I would work on this thing for a few hours and it would just bog down and get so slow that I, my, my work would just come to a stop and I needed to get past that. So I decided I do need to upgrade. Uh, but I really wanted to make sure that I was spending every penny that I needed to and not just buying stuff, um, you know, that that video editors, full-time video editors might need that I really didn't. Um, I figured out I, I really didn't think I ne needed the uh, Vega 48. Definitely didn't need the terabyte SSD. Most of my storage is external. Um, but I was really stuck between the i5 and the i9 and there are no reviews of the i5. Everybody's reviewing the i9. I just want to know if the i5 will work for my Adobe Lightroom Classic CC workflow. Um, a little bit of Adobe Premiere here and there. Um, but yeah, it's like 400 bucks per upgrade. So it was like $1,200 cheaper to buy the, the baseline with the 512 SSD in it. Um, but I, I couldn't find any reviews and I'm not the most patient person. So I went and bought a i5 Radeon 580X with 512 SSD, eight gigabytes of RAM, and I threw 32 gigs of OWC RAM in it. Um, got it a few days ago, did some Lightroom tests and wanted to share my results. So the 2019 i5 iMac to import 100 images, raw images from a Sony a7R III, 43 megapixel, um, seven minutes, 21 seconds. The 2019 i9 was five minutes, 27 seconds. The 2014 iMac was nine minutes. Now the times were really equal between the imports. The rendering one-to-one -one previews was the big spot where there were time differences. So the i5's kind of in the middle range. Um, exporting, the 2019 i5 iMac exported 100 TIFF files in three minutes, 34 seconds. 2019 i9 exported 100 TIFF files, three minutes, 42 seconds. So not that big a difference. The 2014 export took 10 and a half minutes. So big difference there. Um, and when the 2014 is exporting the computer, basically you can't use it for anything else. The fans kick on full bore and it just stops. So yeah, it doesn't seem like the i9 is that far ahead of the i5 when it comes to Lightroom work. So I did also do some spot healing, some gradients, some brushwork, and the difference between the i5 and the i9 was negligible. I mean, it's, they're, they're pretty much the same, same thing when it comes to that. So that was really helpful to know. So I want to do another review in a week. I want to use this thing for a week. I want to edit this video. I want to do some other stuff with it and, and really get a feel on, on whether or not the i9 is necessary for somebody who has a workflow similar to mine. So I will check back in in a week with another review. If this video was helpful to you, please uh, subscribe to the channel, click the thumbs up below, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.